A while ago, I created a resource pack tutorial video on how to create resource packs. And while it was pretty good, there was one major flaw to it that I had no idea about. So today's video is gonna be kind of describing the flaws behind that and also giving something something special. It's gonna be a resource pack kind of template that you can start off with whenever you're wanting to create a new resource pack. So it'll be super easy, super easy and friendly to use. If you guys are brand new, ZMX23, welcome. Glad you guys are here. I hope you guys do enjoy my video. And if you do, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because it really does help me out, especially when I put so much time and effort into making these videos into uh, figuring out what's gotten wrong and making the vi making my videos a bit better. But anyways, let me go ahead and explain real quickly what went wrong in the last tutorial. So basically what went wrong in my last tutorial was that I taught to use this one dot, whatever version you were working on, I taught you how to make this into an actual zip folder and into a resource pack folder. And while that's all okay, there's something I didn't realize when actually doing this. When that when you create those resource packs, that exports every single regular Minecraft texture into these folders. So if we were to go down into textures and then say, I guess just item for general, you, you can you, you can see all these blocks, all these items are already decorated. And what this does is if you have multiple resource packs, say you literally just have a resource pack that's dedicated to changing sign types. This resource pack will overwrite everything it will completely destroy every it, it, it basically you got a resource pack this is gonna it's not gonna allow you to use you can only use this one once at a time instead of using multiple resource packs at a time so to amend that what i've actually done is i've gone ahead and i've created a resource pack template right here now the rest of my tutorial was 100 percent fine on how to actually do textures and everything but basically what my resource pack template is if, if you go into assets minecraft and let's say we just wanted to change some of the sounds you can see it's empty we wanted to go into the textures and say, you know what? I wanted to change some blocks. It's empty. It's all completely empty, which means that all you would have to do in order to create new textures and stuff is you would just have to create new textures and rename them to the block name. So, you know, a stone texture would go in the stone under blocks. If we wanted a specific painting, we'd go into the painting and figure out what, what the name of the painting is that we want to replace. And we would rename our PNG image to that. So this is basically just a template, a really easy way to figure out and, and create your own resource packs. But this also won't affect any other resource packs as long as that there, there, there's no items in it, if that makes sense. I hope I'm clarifying this well, but like right here, just textures item, right? You could put grass since, since there's no other grass items in here, right? This wouldn't affect other resource packs, but if you create grass, if you create your own PNG and put it in this folder, it will go ahead and it will replace it. So that when you have this resource pack on, it, it's it's there. Now, the nice thing about this is that it still has the pack.mc meta. So the default data for Minecraft, I'll actually change that right now. This is just, I'll, I'll title it to description of your resource pack right there. But yeah, the one thing you might have to change too is this still comes with the default pack.png, but you can change that if you want. So now you have this just custom template just to go based off of. And now I'll go ahead and show you how to actually download it. So once you click on the link that is in the description, you'll basically just click right here onto this video. It will go ahead and download the resource pack right there in the bottom left. You can see that it's downloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to our downloads right here. And here's our resource pack template. So if you take that out of your downloads and you can put it anywhere, I'm just putting it on my desktop for right now. All you'll simply do is you'll right click and you'll extract all to extract it, which will press extract right there. And that will just a, replace the files in the destination. It's just gonna replace this resource pack folder right here. And basically you got your own resource pack template that you can now download and then just insert your own textures. It's super easy, super fun to use. And it's a great way to create resource packs. You literally just go in here and I, I have my stone PNG. So I'm gonna put that right there. I've got my grass block. It's as simple as that. I will say one last thing too, for those of you who do not have the extract all option, I will show you how to do that real quickly. If you look at the link in the description down below, basically you'll get, uh, you'll, if you don't have the extract all option, Option popping up. This is for other other programs other than just Windows. All you basically do is go to this link, press download WinRAR, and then you'll be able to right click on that one folder and press extract with Rinwar, WinRAR. Or if you actually have Windows, you can go to this seven zip right here. You'll download the very top one, this link right here. And that will give you the exact option that I have, the exact option of extract all. And that's just how you extract folders and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, having your own resource pack template, it's just helpful, easy, nice, and fun to use uh, for our future resource pack creating. But yeah, I, I do apologize again for uh, teaching a couple of you guys on how to do the wrong thing when creating a resource packs. So that was my fault, but I learned along the line and I want to teach you guys along the lines as well. For those of you who did click on this video, just hoping for a resource pack video, I will also have the link down to the official resource pack video, the one where I made the error, but now you guys know ahead of time how not to make that same error because I've just explained in today's video. With that said, go ahead and check out that video if you guys want to create a resource pack. I hope you guys did enjoy this. A little bit of an explanation, sort of a bit of an apology. Um, it was my bad, but we got it fixed and we got it explained and I feel a lot better. I feel like this is, this is a weight off my 
conscience. And if you guys ever did, I mean, create it the way I taught it to, it's not bad. It just means that you'll only be able to use that resource pack by itself. You won't be able to be, you won't be able to use it with other resource packs. But with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll make sure to pin a comment on my other video explaining this one right here to come over to here and check this one out. I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever that may be. But enjoy life. Enjoy Minecraft. Enjoy resource pack creating, guys. And I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.